Hey guys, Crypto Mike in the house. The mic check. Is this thing on? Alright guys, today's video is going to be about, you got it, bearable guy 123 and his May prediction that came true. Alright. Okay, the last one that he put up six months ago. We're going to take a little look at that one. Alright guys, one with the calendar. Alright, so... Take a moment to hit the thumbs up, smash that thumbs up for me, guys. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Don't forget, I'm giving away 100 XRP, 100 XLM, and 1,000 Digibyte at the end of this week. Go to my video, my giveaway video, because I hit 100 subscribers, and I feel like giving back to you guys since you've given me so much. Okay, guys? Here's my little YouTube message. Yay! Congrats, Crypto Mike! Subscribe. By the way, I'm trying to um, change this. I've been trying to for a while, but they only let you change your name uh, three times within three months or something. And I was just kind of doing a little experimental thing, and I didn't know I changed it already twice. So now I have to wait. So, anyways, it's Crypto Mike. All right, guys, let's get into it. Okay, I was on Twitter and I found this post and I don't know why I didn't think about it but we all saw Yugle Yugle Rab 321's picture right you know that's a bearable guy right okay so we saw his um, background image on Twitter all right now he has a brick wall with a sunbeam shining through looks like it's smashing through now this is a spiral with XRP in the center of it I think it probably represents coil okay now what he says and this is by the way go check him out um square 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 xrp uh his name is at erst 69 go follow him he's got a lot of good stuff all right now he was talking about how this very closely resembles this and that would make sense, wouldn't it? Especially since Fidelity is supposed to be coming out with uh, trading pretty soon. Okay, for institutional investors. All right, Fidelity will roll out the service for trading Bitcoin within a few weeks. Okay, that's pretty soon. All right, so that's in May. Okay, the, the sun is behind the wall. Fidelity, all right, tie it all together. Okay, they say we will continue to roll out our services over the coming weeks and months based on our clients' needs, jurisdictions, and other factors. All right. Currently, our service offering is focused on Bitcoin. Okay. With Bitcoin rises and falls comes everything else. All right. If this shoots up to the moon, so will XRP. But besides that, they will be offering XRP soon, I assume. All right, I presume. Now, just last week, Fidelity published a survey saying that institutional investors are increasingly open to adding digital assets in their portfolio. In a couple years, this is all they're going to be interested in. This is where all the money's at. Around 22% of investors have already had some exposure to digital assets. Okay, that's one fifth of investors. All right. While 40% said they are open to taking the plunge in the next five years. It's going to be even before that, I bet. All right. Now, uh, I want to examine this. But first, I want to go. I just want you guys to see this real quick. All right. I just want you to see this real quick. Uh, this guy says, digital asset bestiate. Crypto Web asked it. He said, David Schwartz indicated to the public that he sold Ethereum at $4. Okay, and he did. I believe right before it pumped. Okay, he sold it right before it pumped. Everybody's getting scared that he's selling XRP right now. This is in my previous video David Schwartz, Satoshi, Rothschild ties. All right, maybe he's signaling that he's always selling right before the pump. Could be. Okay, another person said, uh, I don't have it available, but he told me in one of my comments, I think, that the IMF is 
is making him sell a lot of his assets because they don't want too many people, individuals owning too many Ripple because they're going to be so expensive and it's going to be too much wealth in one person's hand. That kind of makes sense too, if the 589 is correct. Now we're going to examine this one here, okay, just shortly. Um, now, there's a lot to examine, but I want to look at, first of all, why don't we go over here and check these out. Okay, these are coins being churned out, cycle, all right. Um, Monero stands by itself. Cardano stands by itself. I'm not sure if the placement from top to bottom means much, but I, I'm going to have to assume it means something since this is a puzzle. Bitcoin and Litecoin, they're both kind of the same thing they travel together lightning network ethereum's kind of its own thing it travels separate but i think it's going to be big okay uh eos will be big okay basic attention token i i think that's doge i'm not sure um ah, it's a little blurry now this is interesting they have the stellar rocket ship going down so of course he's saying that stellar ain't gonna be around they're they're gonna drop like crazy Okay, I wouldn't completely drop Stellar, okay, especially if he's making a big deal of this, all right, they are kind of like rival companies, right, they had a falling out with Jeb, um, this is, I think that's Tezos, um, that's Bitcoin Cash, I believe, okay, Cardano, Monero, I couldn't read what this was, I, for a second I thought it was Centivate, but nah, I don't think it is. And I don't know what that one is either. Okay. So I believe Cardano. So he is an insider. We've already accomplished that. We already know that. So he probably knows a little bit about what investors are going to be investing in and what they're already invested in over the counter. Okay. All right. So we're going to go. Now we're going to go over to. First of all, let's go check this. Let's go. Okay. You know, let's go check this one out. Let's check out his T. That's pretty cool. Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm assuming that these are the 12 months of 2019. I'm just going to assume because it kind of makes the most sense to me. All right. Now, half of the fifth tooth is covered. Do you notice that? Not the whole thing, but just half of it covered by his finger. So I'm thinking this was the month Fidelity's coming out, okay, with uh, Bitcoin trading. Fidelity is going to be huge, okay? Fidelity, and then maybe the second half of May, how it's showing, how it's bright, and it's dark right here, and it's bright. We're going to be brought to the light with, you know, the sun coming out, all that. And then I'm thinking this has to mean something, right, okay, the, on in uh, October. So maybe October will be a big, big month. I don't know. Maybe October will be a big month for XRP. Something might happen in October. We already know something's already happened in in May. We had the XRPLX liquid index on NASDAQ. All right. So second half of May might also bring Fidelity, which they do say that they're going to bring out um, Bitcoin training, trading. Maybe Bitcoin will go through the roof. Who knows? And maybe they already know this, this variable guy, right? Um, just one more thing. I, I almost wanted to point out that that's a rag doll, but she has like the same face as the one in uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And she has a knife. I don't know. I, I really haven't looked into that one too much. He has a tool toolbar. He has a crescent wrench. Um, out of the box. We're coming out of the box. Okay. So... Honestly, I haven't really watched uh, Sam I Am's assessment of this. Um, I probably should, I guess, and then I'll get some more clues. Uh, I like what this is right here. This could mean anything, okay? Ah, this is going to have to be a part two video too. Uh, no, I'll just end it here, all right? So, you guys, um, all right, go check it out. Okay, go check out the map and everything. Um and then, you know what? I'm just going to make it a part two video. I, I have more to explain. So you guys check out the next video. I'm going to put the link up in there. Smash the thumbs up. All right. Love you guys. Peace out.